My dudes, I never thought I would see the day when Alien became a part of Dead by Daylight, but it's actually happening. So if you're just as excited as I am, you're just going to want to go right into the gameplay, right? You don't want to sit on the title screen forever. And I get that. So in this video, you're going to see my first match as both Ellen Ripley and the Xenomorph. We're playing with only their unique perks, and I kind of go over them in the matches, so I'm not going to waste the time here. If you guys are stoked for this new chapter, let me know by liking the video. Father's dwelling, dude. Seriously? Man. I just want... What? Okay. You've got magic powers. Oh, you were floating. Yeah, it was nuts. I'm glad you were there too, man. All right, I think I'm best friends with this with this Ellen. So there are these things, which are flame turrets. You set them up. They kind of have a proximity similar to the skull merchants. You'll see when I set it down. I'm just trying to find a good spot. Because there has to be like a lot of open space for this to work, and this might be kind of weird. You gotta get it like just right. It's a little janky. So what happens is this goes around, and it'll detect when the xenomorph is actually near, and you, it'll uh, hit him with a flame, dude. It's kind of nuts. So he can break them, and then you can go ahead and repair them. I think he can like destroy them completely as well, though. Yes, here we go. Perfect. Get me, you big boy. What? Okay, so beeps when he's close. Flame. There we go. So I can't tell if that slows him down or if it kind of just takes him out of his... I probably should have gotten hit there, to be honest with you. Oh, I lost him. Oh, I didn't want to break it down. I want to keep it. So I think what it might do is take him out of runner mode. I haven't quite figured it out yet. So from my understanding, when he's in runner mode, you can tell because he's on all fours. Uh, but he kind of gains like a almost projectile with his tail. It's just like a, a crazy long stab, but can I get you to chase me? No. I'm going to go for the onhook then. That's not what I wanted. We got to get on a gen, though, because I do want to try out these new perks. So the one that I just used is whenever you get into a locker. Don't don't you tunnel one. Oh, God, he is. That's crazy. It's the PTB, my man. You're going to chase me now. Perfect. So I'm going to take you right back to Maine. Oh, he doesn't care about me. Where where is he going? These are going off, so he's nearby. There we go. So it super slows him down when he's in runner mode. OK, so what he just did with his tail jab, I think you can only do when you're in runner mode. Otherwise, you just chase normally. So it's like a, a tail lunge, I guess. Okay, so the perk that we just got that just completed near a downed pallet, we can actually set a trap on it. So it's basically like blast mine, but instead of for generators, it's for pallets. And I feel like that could be super fun. So we're going to have to get into chase. Oh, actually, he might be coming over here now. So install trap and it's active for 120 seconds. So let's go ahead and repair this. See if we can kind of bait them over here. I hope I don't just completely waste that. You think he'll hop back on this gen? Oh, I hear a terror radius. Can we get him to come over here, though? Yes, we can. Give me, give me, me. Thank you. All right, come to this pallet. Oh, come on, break it. Don't be this way. Just break it. Yes. Oh, he tried to lunge me over it. No, break the pallet. Come on, man. How do we get a bloodluster in the PTB, dude? 
No, he left. No. Oh, that sucks. All right. Touch me up. Oh, I completely. It is like Blast Mine where you lose it. That sucks. This is super wild so far. He seems like he can be really good, especially with that lunge attack and runner mode. But it's like it's fair, I guess. There's ways to counter it. Ways that aren't super insanely, disgustingly boring, you know? Yeah, the main problem with like a lot of the recent killers has just been that there's no fun way to counter, right? It's just mind numbing. This at least is interactive, right? You have to think, you have to set up the turret, you have to waste the time carrying them because you move so slow. But it, you don't get something cheesy out of it from doing it, you know? You don't get exposed for sitting in a ring or trying to do anything to counter the killer. Okay, so right now, if I go in here, and I don't know if I have to wait for this timer to go off. I'm going to try it. So I can see the closest generator and all the auras of survivors. That's really cool. And then our other perk just makes our footsteps completely silent when we're healthy. But this is kind of a good quick thing to do. If uh, you ever need to find a gen, right? Or you've been running around and cannot find a generator because we've all been in that situation. I think when you're inside the locker as well, it actually silences you completely and gets rid of your pools of blood uh, if you're injured. So it's like iron will, but in a locker or, or I guess off the record, maybe. All right, let's see if we can get him to actually break a pallet. I might do is kind of carry this over to where he's going to hook. Boy, it. He's here. There he is. Okay, so he's destroying it. I want to take him someplace with a pallet that he's going to have to break. Okay, he's just going right back to hook. Good to know. Okay, I'm going to set it on here again. See if we can get him to break it. Come on, man. Go over the pallet. Go over the pallet. Go over the pallet. I want him to break it so bad. Oh, what the hell? Now that's crazy. Come on, man. That was nasty. He's not going to break this pallet, is he? If we had a turret up, we wouldn't have gotten down there. All right. Can you just break the pallet, dude? So our footsteps are no longer silent because we performed a rush to action, by the way. Is he going to just tunnel this girl out? That's crazy. It's the PTB, brother. Yeah, it doesn't does not care about anybody else. Wild. Let's get him out of runner mode. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Okay. She's out. I'm loud as hell. So if I get in a locker right now, am I quiet? I kind of want to hear. I want to listen. Completely quiet. No pooling of blood around the locker. That blood was just left over. Okay. Imagine that. Oh, dude. Quick and quiet. Head on. This perk. That'd be awesome. Just make a break for it. Wait. Oh, my God. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm free. Okay. Cool.
Okay, still not the Nostromo. I had an offering, but I had to decide, right? Mori or the Nostromo. So I think I think we all know why I went with the Mori. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So these are the tunnels that we can go through, it looks like. Let's uh, get rid of this now. What we'll do, enter the tunnel. Oh, oh my god, wait, you actually are just, like, going. That's a game changer. Oh, wait, you can kind of listen a little bit. All right, so let's exit the tunnel. Killer instinct, sweet. Oh, and we have our tail attack. Very cool. Oh, there's, like, a delay to it a little bit. Okay, that's cool. I'm about it. Nice little easy hit over the pallet there. Let's see where she's going now. Down into the hole. Understood. She just went through here. Okay, so I'm out of runner mode now because of this turret. So let's go ahead and break it. And then I think there's someone on this gen, no? Now, someone should scream if they're in my terror radius. What's up? So that's the new uh, locker perk. That was actually really cool. I like that. We're on Pallet City, unfortunately, so. So can I still? I don't know why I was in runner mode. Oh, I can still M1. Oh, OK, that's actually interesting. When I didn't see the thing for a normal basic attack, I got a little confused. Thought I just heard someone fall. So I think our terror radius is actually smaller now as well. Okay, I hear this down here. Hello? Oh, wow, that's actually nuts. That I could hit over that. I just completely ignored that pallet. That entire loop was just nothing. Okay, so they used the new perk. All right, I'm just going to do it. I kind of want to see what happens. So you just move super slow. Obviously, this one, this loop wasn't too great for her, so we should be 5% faster now, which is cool. Got her down. Perfect. So I don't want to be a complete cheeser on the PTB, but I also want to make sure that we can see this Mori, right? So I'm kind of in a tough spot right now. So let's get you up on this hook. Furthest injured survivor. I didn't see him at all. So let's uh, let's actually go in here. And check some gems, I guess. Sounds like there's someone here. Nope. Interesting. So I don't understand what selecting and control station does right now. Okay, down. Go after this chick. Okay, I'm out of runner mode. That's fine. That will be 5% faster again. I think I'm going to go for the pickup here. Okay, get rid of this pallet. Get a nice hit there. Both these pallets are gone. We will get our friend here in the basement. Sweet. Just want to make sure we get the Mori, that's all. I know it's probably a little toxic, but I brought it, you know? 
All right, they gotta be healing somewhere. Let's see if we can do something like this. Terror radius. No one screams. They did just blow up that gen up there, though. Okay, that person killed themselves, which is awesome. Really, really glad that that happened. So you get slowed down completely. It's not just when you're in the runner mode. That's good to know. So I think realistically, we can probably just shut down this loop as well. Once we start chasing for a bit here. Oh, she kept running. Smart. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, you can duck it like Nemesis. Got it. Dang, you're going to pre-drop pallets here. Come on now. Out of runner mode, unfortunate. I'm just gonna have to get rid of all these pallets. I don't think I have a choice. So I do something here, but. Okay, there we go. We're about to lose another gen, I'm sure. Let's actually put her down here. And then we'll give this gen a kick. Okay, enter the tunnel. I'm just going right back up, wait a sec. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought I went to a different one. I did not. I just went to the same one. Okay, so we stay in the running mode, which is sweet. Interesting. Okay. Blocked it. Good. Got a hit as well. This other perk activates, so we're faster. Perfect. Okay, nice. I don't... I don't think this person's moriable. I think there's only one. Okay, that was uh, very close. I just heard some scratch. Here's the injured survivor. Sweet. So they're about to get a turret set up. Which is going to take me out of the running mode. Whoa. You're not the one I can mori. Oh, come on now. Where's the one I can mori? Okay, we gotta see this Mori. Come on now. They just pulled themselves off hook. That's sick. Good for them. Oh my god, this Mori. This Mori is so good. Holy crap, man. I don't even remember where I downed this person. To be honest with you. But we got the Mori, that's really all I cared about. I can hear her. Now what if we use our locker perk? Up there.
They're working on this right here. Let's try and get a nice little tail attack. Are you moriable? No, you're not. All right. That's a bummer. So this person's injured, so we should be able to see them. That's so weird. Does it have a radius or is she in a locker? She very well could be in a locker. All right, let's enter these tunnels again. Honestly, I have no reason to, but they just look so cool. Oh, so you can mark so you don't get disoriented. That's what the marking thing is. That makes sense. Go ahead and break this, why not? Get the points. Wait, do they get the unhook? Do you think this person will give me a Mori? No, get the unhook. Get it, get it. Oh my God, dude. And you're not more able, right? No. Ah, bummer. Okay, well, that was a bummer. I really thought that person would go for the save. Like, I, I just stood there. I wasn't chasing, I don't think, unless I was holding W without uh, realizing it. I, I don't know.